This has become an issue in this parliament because David Cameron, on the day after the Scottish independence referendum, September 2014, said that it was time to bring better protections for the English. We've heard the voice of Scotland, and now the millions of voices of England must also be heard. What followed was a nine-month consultation period headed up by William Hague, the former Tory leader, in which he came to a conclusion that there should be an English veto. What this meant was a new Grand Committee of English MPs will be created just before the final vote on a piece of legislation in the Commons, and they will be able to make whatever changes they want before that piece of legislation is voted upon. Firstly, Scottish MPs. The SNP are furious about David Cameron's English votes for English Laws proposals. Why? Because Scottish MPs will no longer be able to shape English-only laws and, crucially, Scottish MPs argue that those English-only laws actually impact Scotland because it impacts the overall funding package given to the country. And the second sticking point is Tory MPs. There is frustration on some of the backbenches of the Conservative Party that A, the laws don't go further, and secondly, that the government is rushing at a pace to make this major constitutional change. Who wins are English MPs, so argued David Cameron. No longer can they have laws that they didn't help shape exclusively thrust upon them with the support of Scottish MPs. Who loses? Well, the SNP, clearly. They will be locked out of having key policy influencing decision-making processes on English-only laws. <laughs>